I'm the flyest motherfucker at the kickback. Not a competition, little boy with a wrist that Need me in the bathroom, I don't wanna sit chat. See, not a boyfriend. Una camisa de Jimán, I don't know, I was probably what, six? I wore it until I was like nine. Ah. Ma, quítame la camisa, ma. Mira. Ay, David, ya no te queda esta camisa. Sí, también me queda, ma. At least another fucking year. At least another year, you know? You would take a few months, but that's it, you know? I know I can wear this shirt, ma. I know. I do want another Spider-Man shirt. The Spider-Man shirt when I was a little kid? The one that had the, the webs? The no, webs no, no. Not, not the suit. Not the suit. It was, it was just a shirt? It was a shirt. And it was black long sleeves. It had yeah, red. I remember that. It had Spider-Man right here, right in the center. You but, used to even run like that. Yeah, when I had like, my arms And when up, I was you the, the TV, watching TV like that, and I would see you running like... He's into Samuel Laura. Shh. Let him be. Write it, son. Write it till the sun. You know? Yep. I would have fucking loved it. To the sunrise. Into the sunset. Something mm -hmm. about the sun. Just mm -hmm. run with the sun, basically. Okay. Ooh. We got something to talk about. Tell me. The next UFC main event, the, the main card event, or pay-per-view event. Let's talk about this one first a little bit. What do you Ooh. think? We haven't actually said what happened. What do you think it happened? What do you think the place in a straight line went at it? So UFC 297, Sean Strickland was going to defend his belt against Strickis Duplessis, and he lost. Pero... Pero, but I think that Sean Strickland won the fight. He gotta beat the champ. He didn't beat the champ. Okay, point. What else? He made arguments of why. Arguments of why? Uh huh. Um, like yeah, they were. It was a good fight, and I'm not saying Drakus Duplessis did bad, but I don't think it, it was enough to make him qualify as the winner against the champion. Mm -hmm. You know, the champion was okay. Oh, and Sean Strickland said that he couldn't see after the third round when he got cut right here he said i couldn't see out of this eye at all me i, I I'm, I'm a simple man mijo i'm a simple man a simple guy you know the thing is that you know in mexico when you fight and you literally can say hey wait he fucked you up look at that he fucked you up fool like no matter what at the end of the day you know who fucked up who and i can tell you that i know strickland didn't do much of a but he fucked them up. Yeah, well, that's, you can that see one was doing place, damage. To place, you can see your face, bro. Like you gotta up. beat up. You gotta beat. You gotta beat. And the fact that um, Strickland didn't show as like much moving, but bro, all his all his punches were so powerful. Yeah, that you can see how to play his face was. So let's just say, for example, look, um, Strickland had a. Uh, a fight uh, as a fighter right there he just looked common like a jab like but that was a strong jab you know how much dedication it was, a, it was, was? A strong two dimension yeah because at the end of the day i'm pretty sure the place took the belt and i was like fuck he fucked me up yeah he got me good he got me good my face look, hurts. look at his fucking face he got like three cuts mm -hmm. maybe um we cannot just say it was because of hit. maybe they did bump at somewhere in the head and it looked like a head. There were cuts kind of weird, you know? I didn't see, like, a full I power think, punch. I think it was already cut, but the headbutt opened it more. Yeah, or something. You know what I mean? But, um, a straight line hit, uh, face is clean. So, me personally, if they were just friends of mine fucking up each other, I would be like, you fucked them up. I think you got him, bro. I you think, know? I think Sean Strickland took that one. Besides the point, like I said, that's the only reason why they, people think. People think too fucking much. And... They, they're not thinking the way that, like, look, in order for a straight line to be in that fucking mode, we've seen cartoons, son. We've seen anime. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Concentration and shit. Flow. <sighs> Water. And, um, yeah, and it, he didn't wrestle. Maybe we were expecting a fight, like, all these other fighters, of course, like, John Jones, like, it's one thing over another, it's another, another, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, Demetrius Johnson, bro, you don't even know what to expect from that guy, you know? He can fight you on that. On anyway, the bottom, the anyway. top, air, you name it. Yeah, you he's know? really like, good on the ground too. Um, Chechenko, Valentina, mi amor, the you bullet. know. It's just, okay. Okay, Valentina, Chechenko. Mm -hmm. The Black Widow, you know, like Bullet, mi amor. He's in love, Okay, okay, Chechenko, let's go back to It's just, uh, you know. Is Valentina Alexander married? Alexander Grasso, bro. Uh, Alexa Grasso. Alexa Grasso, I'm, I'm sorry. Alexa Grasso, bro, like listen to that. She's a ninja. Yeah. 
she's a freaking ninja bro i'm in love with that fighting skills and she's so beautiful again he's mexican i'm bro she's like a princess in a way huh a Alexa warrior Gra princess. Yeah. She's warrior. a warrior princess. Mexico's can... warrior princess, Alexa Grasso. For real, Grasso. for real, for real. Forget yeah. I'm You're sorry, like, Valentina, but... I get like little butterflies, you yeah. know? I was like, wow. <laughs> Mexico, once again, you know, we are warriors. Yeah. Mexico is made of warriors. We, They try to make bitches out of us. We, nah. Yeah. Mm. No, and then one of the things that we noticed in the Sean Strickland fight was the audience reaction. Again. Quiet. Again. Absolutely you cannot, quiet. People who like to be lying on... Lie to? Lie to. Because I'm not going to lie to myself. You, bro, you fuck me up. You, you fuck me, me up. Yeah. yeah. No. Hey, look at me. Hey, he started crying. He started crying like, <laughs> yeah, I won the um, belt. I won the belt. I won the this belt. was laughing about it. Bro, like Rocky Balboa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I know. You know, like. Yeah. Like he accomplished the. Like, nah, bro. You went okay, but you didn't win. You didn't yeah, become really the win, champ. So uh, I think for those same situations, I don't think um the play should I get it. I think uh, I think a straight line she needs to learn something more so that I know he has that beautiful thing now done. That like he needs to be working on his wrestling skills more in in a, in actually. Cage. He needs to mix it up. Yeah. Um, he could have been done in a submission. You need to be working more on body Bro, shots. So many body shots that you so could have taken. So many body shots. Uh, more kicks also. Mm -hmm. and that's yeah, like, that leg kick was wide open. Inside leg kick. Boom. Just destroyed the leg over and over and again. And also, that's what the players look a lot more. More um, looking he did for more. the fight. He, was, he did more, but he didn't damage nothing. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, he just moved more. Like he, yeah. he tried more. More. Uh, more. Um, he mixed more. Mixed more. Mixed more martial arts. Mm. And and the straight line was kind of boring, per se. Yeah. Like, just... But, oh, bro, one part. <laughs> that guy, like, I'm telling you, every <laughs> shot, that jab... But at some point, he actually stopped. Like, bro, he he would have continued. Like, he almost finished. Mm -hmm. He would have got that fight. He would have got that fight. Great. He just needed... He more just pressure. needed to let go of that thing that he practiced so much. Do it more often, more often. Like, bro, keep doing come it. On, come on, come on. If you had, if you were, had that energy where you were like right there at his face, come on, then. Mm -hmm. And just gave it to him, you would have won. Honestly. You However, more pressure. Um, I'm not a fighter as like that. I think you did what you did regardless. It's really, it takes a lot of balls to do what these guys do. But um, yeah, I think that's the only way he lose, lost the fight against judges, I get, but once again, what are we qualifying, guys? Are we qualifying points, takedowns, or activity, or Control, who got your damage. ass beat who? Because me, just by face, I'm like, I'm the judge. Like, listen, won. I know you, 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 you did pretty sweet takedown, but nah. We were <laughs> looking at the Joe Rogan stuff. podcast when they were watching the fight, like the, the watch party, and everyone, the same reaction as the audience, just dead. Dead. Well... Like nobody, yeah, nobody was like, happy about it. I think the, I think we should check out on the judges, but I had it three two. Three, I had two. it one two, Drickus. And I would say even the the fifth round, even the fifth round, I I was giving it one two, even until the third down, uh, third round I gave him to Strickland. Was and then it? Even I the forgot how I won it. I, I, I got it two, the third two, round. I think it was because one. he got the cut. Huh? I think on the third round was when he got the cut mm -hmm. on the eye and he couldn't like, oh shit. Yeah. Like Van Damme type of shit. Like, I don't see you, but I feel you. you know? So so is Sean Strickland still the champ? For me, yes. People's champ? I think so. Yeah? For me, yes. Because I think he won. Um, Duplays, like I said, he did his job, but... It, it, I'm surprised it, it, he went it, it all needs five to rounds. Be more. It needs to be more. I'm surprised he went all five rounds because that fool ha has not lasted that long. It, it needs to be ring. done more for a champ to be beat. Yeah. Like, it takes so much for you to be a champ for somebody just by it's just one the, fucking point or by one, what? The middleweight division, man. I don't... It's like they're there, but they don't... They're not there to hurt hurt each other, you know? I don't... They're like sparring. Like, Robert Whitaker, uh, Israel Asanya. When they don't want to fight, Marvin you, can see, you can see... You guys, we can tell now. We are fans of you guys, so we can tell when you really want to fight and when you don't. Yeah. You know, and um, Jared Cannonier against Israel Desanya, boring fight. Boring, boring, super boring, boring fight. 
That's remember that Yoel Romero versus Israel the Sanya fight too. Boring fight. Boring, boring, boring. Almost got disqualified for not doing anything. The middleweight division is kind of boring for me. It's one of my least favorite divisions. Yeah. If they're going to be doing that, sometimes they're just wrestling. Like, bro, you don't even know how to wrestle at this point. Like, what was that fight that we saw last time with um, Morab or Marab? I think it was in the same. Marab? Marab. Uh, boring also fight. Yeah. I forgot his last name. Yeah, Marab. I know who Marab is. What happened with that fight? No technique whatsoever. I didn't see nothing of both of them. No, it was just... It was just like maybe us fighting. (laughs) I didn't see no technique, no takedowns of technique, no... No professional... No professional boxing, no professional MMA. Nothing. Nothing. Just like whatever, like... Marab Devashali or something like that. Against some... That guy that he gets knocked out. And then goes back and then he... Oh, no, 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 no. That's... That's, um... Ankalaev. Mohammed. Mohammed Ankalaev? No. Ankalaev versus Johnny Walker. Uh-huh, that's what we were that talking fight. about. That's a boring fight, right? That was a boring, terrible fight. fight. That's how most of um, Ankalaev's fights go. Like, yeah, uh, they're like, all boring, and then at the very and end, it's he him gets that the wants shot. to be a champion by now. That I think that his next fight. He was... titled. He challenged um, Jan Bohovic for the championship, but they got a tie, so nobody won it, and then Ooh. they couldn't rematch or something, and they moved on. I think to Glover Teixeira versus Jamal Hill. And then Jamal Hill got injured and he had to give AK the belt. So now Year was going to come back and fight against Jamal Hill. But instead he came back to fight against... Um, what's his name? He just fought against... He lost against... Who was it? Who was it? Yeah, Year. Oh, against Alex Pereira. Mm-hmm. New, new light heavyweight champion. Hey, hey, let's, uh, we, let's go back to Australia. Remember when um, Triple G fought Sterling? Yeah. Also, that's why he lost. Yeah. Because he was just try- bro holding him. No, you he didn't do champion. more. Like like Dimitri told him, man, why didn't you do more? Why, why didn't you spin? Change? Yeah, why did? You- I questioned that so much when I watched that fight because I know how good of a wrestler Henry Cejudo yes. is. Yes, how come he didn't like, neutralize bro, that? Shit? You're right there. Yeah, spin to his back. Him. Hooks in body, body yeah, triangle. Yeah, work fucking, him. Fucking get him. I don't know. But don't just be in front of him and holding him there. I I thought like I yeah. feel like if I were doing it and Henry Cejudo was watching me, he'd probably tell me, hey, spin. You know, Move. but um, and like I said, I I think even on that fight, I would have give it to Triple G, I think, but Triple it was C. the champion, yo. Triple C. Triple C. Triple I'm G's sorry. a boxer. So I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, but Triple C. Yeah. Like, see, because bro, <laughs> you know my dyslexia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my my dyslexia. Yes, dyslexia. Let me see. Dyslexia. My dyslexia, bro. I'm sorry. I see. Sixty nine is ninety six. Okay, see. Mm-hmm. I always change names like that. I don't know why. I don't make it on purpose. It's just... Yeah, just the way they brain work sometimes. But yeah, I blame the government. Why? It's in the water. <laughs> All this water shit, you know. It's hydration. I a, lot of, a lot of Red 40 in my system, to be honest. Like, oh yeah, that Red 40 is good. And you know, I used to leave bags of things. It's funny how um the first time I had heard about Red 40, it was um my girlfriend's... Hello. It was my girlfriend's sister. She wasn't allowing her kid to uh, eat Red Forty, uh, <laughs> and I was like, "Man, just, like, what's wrong with Red Forty? like, what's wrong with the gummy bears?" She's like, "It's because they have Red 40. I was like, "What's that?" But now I'm like, "Nah, fuck that. I'm not eating that shit no more. I have to stay away from it as much as I can." Red Forty lo- sounds crazy. Well, let me see. What are some of the side effects for Red Forty? Because <laughs> those hey, yo, I started fucking peachy, huh? And that's just in everything. In everything that's good. You were like, does it have? It does have it. Red forty. Look at it. it says red forty safety side effects and food list. Um, for most people, it is safe to consume and possess no health risk, but some may be allergic to it. Cap, that's cap right there. Let me see. This is lies. Articles that are lying to me because they're saying that there's nothing that happens. It's just, it's just for the color. No. My ass. <laughs> but what's the, oh that that was selling like Google. But it, like, it shows like it, it, it because shows we, we 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 um we thought that Google was good at the end of the day, but all this info was yeah. you lied to me. Mm-hmm. You lie. That's not true. That's not true. You're you're hiding something from me. Anyways, that's what happened with Triple C. Triple C, yeah, he didn't put enough pressure on Andrew Sterling. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure if he would um 
And, and even Dimitri Jones told him, like, it was a good fight, though. It, was a, it fight. was a good fight. But it's just that if you wanted to win it, you had to go and win Maybe it. he played a little safe. I don't remember. I would have to watch it that, again. But you got to remember. It was his first fight back in like bro, so long. Bro, he did great. I he don't came remember. back to he challenge did the great champion. To do, and it's really hard to come back to something like, regardless. Yeah. Regardless, I know he was training still here and there, but no, it's a fight. It's a fight, bro. So, moving on, since you're talking about Henry Cejudo, on to the next event that's coming up. So, UFC 298. Okay, okay. Volkanovski versus Teporia. It's going to be the main event. That was going to be freaking crazy. Tuporia, 100%. I'm going to Tuporia too. He's so cool. Tuporia is the coolest. Bro. He's, he's you know, like I, I didn't right know right MB. Huh? I didn't know MB until that motherfucker. It, he's a badass, He's huh? a badass, bro. He's so a badass, fast. bro. So strong, bro. Good MB, though. Punches hard. Good MB. He, who's that guy that he like, here, fool? Oh, yeah. Have you here. seen that video? Punch me. <laughs> There's a video of a fan, and he tells Ilya Tuporia to sock him right here. No glove or anything. Right here in the liver. Boom! You just hear that gunshot. I think he's signing autographs too, no? I think so. Like, yeah, by the way. Oh, can I push you with the glove? You just, <laughs> you just give me a fucking hit. Like, <laughs> I want to tell everybody that I got fucked up by Tuporia. Ilya Tuporia. <laughs> like, bro. Put that on my resume. <laughs> 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 even I, even he heard me when I saw. That. Ooh, I felt it too. Yeah, it was a big hit, bro. But I, I just saw the. I went on Instagram and it said the next card, the main card for UFC 28, uh, Volkanovski versus Tuporia, Whitaker versus Paulo Costa, uh, Geoff Neal versus Ian Gary. Um, I don't know Ian Gary. I think I do, but uh, yeah, his wife. Remember? Yeah, I heard about the wife, so I don't even know her. Either. I'll put on some I Ian Gary highlights, but he's really, really good. Yeah, yeah. And then Marab, the one that you were talking about—that's Aljamain Sterling's friend. Yeah, I don't know if I want to watch him, but against I will. Henry Cejudo. He okay? Because <laughs> last time he just actor. wrestled. I just, I just learn every time. Every time I watch him and. These guys, I learned something. I love Henry Cejudo's YouTube channel too. You know, now is that this year, 2024, it's time for me to practice all all the stuff. I, I really want to become a ninja like them. Mm -hmm. Close enough. Yeah. It's one of my goals. Martial artists. I have my 14 year old now, and I have you, son, that we've been, we've been training, training, trying also to do this how long and then some bullshit. Yeah, always comes up. But it's all right because we got this. I know what's bullshit when it comes and we just go like fucking nature like that. You just see the bullshit flying you just past see like, you like, what the heck, fuck you dude? Too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> just like that picture right there, right at the mijo. Which one? The talented uh, Angie Boo. Martian Boo. And the, and the Vegeta. Vegeta. Oh, the yeah. That's a cool drawing. I think I need to have that one upstairs. But you just a cool character. Bro, he's I my I talked about him before in the podcast. You know? He's so cool. It is. Scary dude though, like you, I feel like just don't bother him. Just leave him alone. You, I feel like he finds everyone annoying. That's why. So it's like yeah, I can't even like, talk like, to you, dude. Like we don't want to fuck you up, right? If you keep talking shit, I didn't even say anything. You didn't respect. You don't <laughs> have to respect. Uh huh. Like, <laughs> I didn't even fucking. I was asking you. You know, you know what? Never mind. I don't even want to. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, but he's so prideful, so beautiful. Um, Vegeta understands him a lot. He doesn't disrespect him because he has so much respect. That's. That's what I mean about friendships. And like, don't respect. Remember how I told you about Joe? Yes, when that's we what meet, we're talking about. Joe will be like, bro, Luis is not. Leave him alone. Like, he doesn't joke like that. Because uh, you don't talk about, like, don't fuck you up. Or something's going to happen. I don't know. That's how it was my mentality back at your age, mijo, you know? Yeah. You think you were, like, more rambunctious? Still, like, when do you think you started, like, to calm down or, like, kind of tame yourself? Over, especially when I had more, well, Monica Because my dad you. was freaking wild, dude. Yeah, Monica and you. And um, then Adrian. Adrian is 2009, right? Mm hmm So by that time, I'm, I'm married, yeah, seven years with your mom. So I kind of mellowed down. I just start. They took away... Like I'm telling you, those fighting fights. I I will used to, used to watch fighting all the time. It was me and the. I would look for the fights. I would go to the bars and watch the fights, train the fights, fight the air, anything. This year, we gotta go to a UFC event. We gotta go to you. See, this year we're going to a UFC. I event. stopped visualizing who I was as a warrior or as a sport that I love. I. I Emphasize in my mind all the time, like people, you're that loco, David. You're very violent, like I don't even fight. Mm -hmm. I don't even fight. 
But back then, it wasn't that I didn't want to fight. Like, you're, being, you're being disrespectful. I'm going to kick your ass. You deserve an ass whooping. You deserve an ass whooping. And that's even in Mexico and everywhere. That, that's how in Mexico, like, Ura, abuelo, que te dijo. You're going to take it? You're going to take that shit from this? You're a bitch. Instigating, you're a bro. Bitch. And I was like, hey, he's a puto. What, what? do you say, bitch? I said, oh, yeah? They don't, and you know. Oh, you it's back down tipo, type of movie? Yeah. yeah. And boom, hijo, it was fine. It. it was a fine night day. I loved it, you know. And then I'm alive, you know. I'm primal. I need more. <laughs> but yeah, that's... and my, I just my attitude as a kid. I was so powerful, I guess, in my mind that I could do anything and everything. Like, no, don't do that. I can climb Why? it, ma. Ma, listen. I can climb that tree like nothing. Bro, I'm telling you, this psycho shit, like, the house, mijo, it is a three-story house. Your house? My house, uh -huh. I in Mexico. Uh -huh. La house de mi abuelita, la house de mi hermana Betty ahora. What did your house look like? It's a street and there is a, a one story house. Okay. But it, there is a, you, you gotta go downstairs and downstairs there's another house from mi tio Chucho. But that house is like two story because look, now you're going down. Yeah, yeah. You know? Now, mi tio is otra casa arriba de la house what? que estaba allá en the, in the, uh -huh. in the entrance. They so expanded it. It, be, it becomes like a three story house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not like altogether. It actually becomes a four-story house after that because what the fuck? The, yeah, it's fucking high. Yeah. And over there, they make the houses cement. Yeah. Not like here with wood, like cement. And there is the the bars, the, what do you call it? I don't the, know. The fierro. Oh, that, the iron bars? Uh, iron bars hanging. And, and they were just hanging fucking bars in the third-story house. Yeah. And my dumbass thinking, I don't know how old, how old I was, bro. I don't know how old I was, but I was like, I can probably grab it uh -huh. and walk in the fucking thing. What the Come fuck? back. And, and, and I was like, should I fucking try it? And then I'm looking, look at this is fucking little kid. Bro. How old were you? I don't know, but I came here when I was 12. <laughs> so picture anything before 12. Wow. Tiny. You know? And I was like, but uh, something in my mind said no. But I will do stupid things like that, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, son, God took care of me like every mini Tarzan. time. Every fucking time. I will walk on a wall that breaks. A two story también para las iguanas, bro. Like, uh, ma, yo miro a tu hermanita Valerie. If I would see you, Val Valerie, doing that. <gasps> mm -mm. Imagine you see your kid, seven and under, walking on a brick wall, super high up, like climbing seven feet a off huge the floor. tree. All the way. My mom, bro. Yeah. What's wrong with my mom? You know, she's, like, well, she's tripping. You're just up there. And you're just hanging one hand like that. And then no se quebró la pinche barra. <laughs> but I was so light, so tiny. The pinche arrow was like... You only weigh like 10 pounds. The the uh, the, the branch is like... Here. Ay, <laughs> chiquito. Yeah. You know, and I was so light también, so... You know which book I like? The Giving Tree. I think I, I was able to carry my body weight in, in uh, not to be safe, but a lot. That's why I could be able... You know how I'm telling you that the house is made you of bricks? You're a ninja. I would grab the bricks like this and climb. Are your fingertips? Uh, yeah, Spider-Man me la pelaba. <laughs> but I was little, but... Yeah, yeah, Parecía así, subiéndome la pinche... En Grabbing la the little... Because they subiéndome, were... Subiéndome la azotea. Uh-huh. ¡Mueve la antena! <laughs> sí. ¡Ay, quédate, mijo! No, pues. So, what, are we moving to Mexico? I, there, I have possibilities, mijo. It's right? Like... It doesn't sound that bad of an idea. It would be a lot to let go... But it's like that saying, do not fear what you're going to lose, but look forward towards what you're going to gain. No, and the thing is, is it, what, what is it that you're letting go? Yeah, like, what are you actually Because um, the only reason I think the stopping me right now, well, you know, you know, my kids, you, it's like, ah, that's letting go. I don't want to let go of, they have never let, want to let go of that. That's what I live for, my kids, you. I don't understand why people are separate. I'm telling you, just live together. Help out this thing. Be fucking that, happy. No, and <laughs> this thing that is going on right now, me, mijo, is, it, people are looking at it like a disaster. They should make it look like it's a blessing, bro. What do you mean? Listen to this. A blessing that this, because this is the time, the time to unite. Mm -hmm. when the we're time to become we. Yeah. The time to enforce, I like, I help you, bro. You help me. What do you know? Like, remember the electrician? I yeah. told him, hey, bro. I have issues in my house of electrical and I do drywall. If you have, he's like, bro, I, I just fucked up a wall and I need help. And I was like, you, you help me. I help you. Yeah, about trade that? jobs. You know, trade work. If I hire an electrician. Yeah. 
I can't even afford it. I can't even afford it. It's expensive. The electrician, he mm -hmm. can't afford a fucking taper. <laughs> yeah. No one can afford anything anymore. No one can afford each other. How, why not just help each other? Yeah. Hey, what do you know how to do? Before that time, I think it was like that, right? One of the presidential candidates, she was like, that she wants to extend the retirement age to like 70. Bro, I don't, I'm 42 and I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Like she sounds so dumb. Like it she's... sounds so dumb because listen, this the situation that we're on is because of that and same thing. Our kids are going to where there is no dad, no mom anymore in the houses, son. Yeah, no. And back then, like it would, you would turn out. You go to work nine to five, forty years. You get money. You retire. You're chilling. You can afford a house. You can have a family. You can afford groceries. You can be fit. You can. And, and look, I know that this is where we at. But even like I two years ago, I even told you like Mijo. I don't want to sound like a dick, but if I was still married to your mom, mm -hmm. I don't know how... Fuck no! Like, I would have to work pretty much... Mm -hmm. All day. I, you don't have a dad. Yeah. Every day. All day. Yeah. That's how everyone has to be living their lives now. A lot more. Mm -hmm. He has to be fucking working two jobs all day, every single day. No breaks off. No days off. And um, and, and it was, it's so scary, bro. It's so scary to think that way. And right I, now I, I know, is, I know yeah. that in Mexico... um. The houses right here, people in Mexico own their houses, bro. Pixel Mexico, me, people in Mexico actually own their things. Here, you don't know shit. People in Mexico built their houses. <laughs> people in Mexico build their own houses, bro, with the community. I saw them work. Hey, vamos a echarle el cemento right here. Everybody pitching, pinche comidita, yeah, yeah. cervecita, you know, whatever. But you said that when you were growing up, your neighborhood was still like. Oh, it was just out. dirt. It yeah. was just dirt everywhere. All that the street, it was dirt. We used to play marbles, canicas. Look, that's one thing that that this is what happened in the United States. What I see, they killed the child in you. Mm -hmm. That's why people are so boring and so hating because they're no longer no longer kids. Yeah. Look, where are they gonna play? What kind of you see it's any like kid, you mijo? You see any kid anywhere? Yeah. The kids aren't the same anymore. They gotta be in a in a in a club where now Drake, you can't be doing that. Jason, Drake, come here, come here, Jason. Tom, Tom. Yeah. Following, Timmy. following in pee wee soccer, baseball. That's all because you can't play baseball. Can't. There's no kids. There's no kids. And if there are kids, they don't play hey, with each other. It, it sounds like um, what are those town ghost towns? Uh huh. It it's this close, bro. Yeah. I Everyone's think inside. you and me and the lady walk in this fucking street. Yeah. <laughs> I can see. That's what I liked about growing up in the apartments is that everyone was just right there. There was kids all over the damn place. But even now, now in the apartments, even like women are getting to spoil with their kids. Like, no, no, salgas porque ya, no. Yeah. And everyone is just at the comfort of their room or of their house. And the dads, mijo, they're so tired from work. They it's don't like want to. we're going to turn into the I'm people from up. Jab, give me just a up, beer. From Wally. And put some football game on or something. Let me chill. Because look, on the weekend, there's a baby shower going on. Mm -hmm. A party going on. Mm -hmm. What about me, my boxing? What about me, my UFC? Like, I know Monday. Monday's I gotta coming. go back to something that I never liked this. Back to I the never, system. Yeah, you you lie to yourself. You, you're dying in them. And that's how I felt. I worked so much after my before my divorce done. That I blame myself in worst case, whatever. That it, perhaps I probably didn't see what the fuck was going on, but I thought everything was okay. Where the the media fucked up. I didn't remember they were making fun of me because I didn't have Snapchat. I was like, oh shit, this is going on right now? Mm -hmm. Snapchat? That I only have you. But I feel like that was like a dad thing. It's like, ah, he doesn't know about Snapchat. Uh-huh. You see? But how do you know how many how many dads now? They can actually enjoy recording yeah. themselves, grandpas, y y haciendo su vida. And it's beautiful thing. Look, you gotta work as a, you gotta work as a couple and make things. This is what's going on right now. You gotta work as a couple. Not anymore as a couple, as a family, son. Because in order to afford a house right now, and bro, no, I can even buy you a freaking soda. That's one thing though. Moving out of California, period. Like that was that one's a more real like maybe not even Mexico, but moving out of this state is 
Sounds I don't like, like the cold. And I don't like the heat. <laughs> I think Mexico is my best option. I'm going to call it reptilians, and, uh, to be honest. I'm more like tropical. You're more like an iguana. Like an iguana, playa, lizard. you know. You know, I, I like my lizard mode. I like going against the lizard mode. When their sun's right there and I'm just like this. I could put his hand on a little bit. I kind of show off like that, you know, like without mi camisita in la playa. I see myself picturing the margarita. like that. A margarita like that. You know, mija? The joint. You know, chilling. <laughs> I don't need much Yeah You know And here bro You can't even be in the street Because I don't know Yeah There's a code There's a code You know Yeah And we're taking you And they wanna eat me If I'm homeless They probably eat me If I'm homeless Because a lot of, I heard that A lot of homeless Are disappearing I don't know Don't ask me But a lot of mm. homeless Are disappearing You know That's one of the scary Joe is no longer there Juan is no longer there That's one of the scary that was, There were their corners they're not longer in their corners. It's one of the scary theories that the government, when they, like in Venom, Venom. They were, when they're getting. I've been telling you, and, and we've been seeing things on movies. The homeless people. And we, we've been seeing things in movies. Like, look, son, here's a code. They're telling us what they're going to do, and we're not seeing it because I already said it in a movie. Yeah. Like, they're, they're fucking eating humans. Yeah. Oh, remember that one movie? <laughs> remember that one movie Um, where. They're like working in this call booth or something. He's like, use your white voice. And then all of a sudden, they're like turning people into into like these animal human people. They're saying that that shit was real. You see what I mean? That's just scary, bro. That they're crossbreeding the DNA. Chucky. Of... Yeah. Remember Souls? I told you about Chucky? Yeah. So, well, George Washington is probably still here. That's a scary one. The How? same. They changed the body, the soul to another body. Chucky. Ooh. Abraham Lincoln Jefferson <laughs> They're still running America The it's founding true. fathers Are still running America And then with all and that They're looking for a body For Biden Because Biden is gonna be Transferred bro And with all that Freaking baby organ blood Stuff exactly. bro They stay young Vampires it, Cause no, Why is Biden president bro Bro Come on Come on respect, That's bro. a reptilian dying need He needs to be down, changed sir. Chucky Listen bro I'm 22 <laughs> I have all the energy In the world I'm, I, I'm modestly fit. I don't want to be president. It's I, too much. It's a lot of work. I got to be really, really fucking strong and be there. Who said? Huh. Well, a, a fool. Let's make this fool president. Yeah. How old are you? 89. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What? <laughs> Is that your kid? Is that your kid? <laughs> bro, no. Bro, that was, that's, 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 that's the real one. <laughs> that's the real one for real. What are you smelling kids for, bro? Why you Se lo quiere comer. Mm. You smell it, bro. bro. We we need to pay attention to that shit, Loki. Like aliens. Because have you seen that one where Joe Biden's like? Why did they even make baby? a movie for that fool? Like that one that was in Je Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. Why are you? let's make a movie? These motherfuckers are fucking what? Well, one money, of course. It fucking hit. That show hit. Everyone everybody's watched fucking it. traumatized, bro. Like, Every, yeah. listen, listen, if that shit is happened, what do you think many are not happening that we're not even... What's happening to Hollywood that we yeah. were like... Everyone's turning a blind eye. This fucker, oh shit, all fucking... Oh, sorry, now we know that well, I was, was looking... It was my puff daddy. Uh-huh. Now that I'm looking, I'm like, he's weird. But I heard, I said, but he's weird. Oh, now until today, it reveals like he was fucking weird. Yeah. Of that he was his, because that little ring and look how many people how he influenced in a lot of kids wearing the fucking earring bro i don't know how much of how, how much of cat williams podcast i trust but a lot of it's freaking crazy if it is true like damn. it's not about being crazy now it makes sense yeah it makes a lot of sense we live in that world now where crazy can be possible huh i love Stella side too you know she's chilling she's getting that second hand smoke she's chilling she gets all the munches. That's why she wants to eat all the time. I get her. I, I haven't paid attention to that. But now I get you, mija. Look at those beautiful eyes. Reptilian eyes. Okay, well, so again. <laughs> that's a cat, right? She looks so funny. A feline. How come he's the mijo? Yeah, feline. Feline. He's, that's a feline. How come the feline... Or how come the, the lion and the tiger and them don't have the eyes like that? Like this lizard cat dash... Cat, if you really are a cat, Stella, if that's your real name. And then you see, uh, like I tell, like, like I ask, like, I remember I explained to you, like, how come that if the cat 
lion, panther, and they have round eyes. Mm-hmm. And only the cats have the eye of a uh, lizard kind of light. Like like mm-hmm. the Diamond. one from How to Train Your Dragon? Why is it that in the cartoon, the Thundercats, only the Espada de Tondera mm-hmm. has the eye? The eye of... Let me see más allá del evidente. Let me see more... More than the evident? Uh-huh. And he Beyond the evident. It. And he goes further, further. So these bitches can see them. They can see the reptilians, bro. The reptilians? So, so if you ever carry... Maybe a, a person... I'm just saying, okay? And the cat is like... Shh, fucking reptilian. You stab the motherfucker, you let him breathe. Isn't it crazy how much times have changed? Like, look at the way people are thinking right now compared to like 20 years ago. And then 20 years before that. Mm-hmm. Like, it's so weird. I feel like when I was growing up, we were getting into the more advanced stuff. Like, more electronic stuff. Let's just say, like, um, look, I don't know how old is Cat Williams. Uh-huh. People think that he's a genius. because, But he, no, he's just he's just a common person seeing things. Like, I'm telling you, I, I see things like that. Saying, like, it so, makes sense. Yeah. You know? I told you, TikTok, I told you, look, this TikTok. Ha, everybody's like, ha, ha. But I, what I see, it's a lot of information. Mm-hmm. That, bro, I, I would love, I would have loved to know this information a long time ago. People are entertained and stupid the way, but more people, or at least common people sense, I'm gonna be looking like, ooh, I got that, I got that. Uh-huh. Uh huh. What are you saying? I remember that. I one. remember that one. This is gonna, uh, and there's so much talent in humanity, son. Yeah. I know how to draw salt. Like my my explore page on Instagram, it's just art, art, Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtle, um, UFC, martial arts. I'm not gonna wrestling, lie. I boxing. had a point where I was like, "Am I a fucking pervert or what?" Because <laughs> booty, 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 booty. They feed booty, you. Booty, 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 they feed booty. you. I was like, I know I'm single, bitches. I know. Like I you have to you have to start hitting the freaking you know? not interested. And thing. you see how my. Thing yeah, you gotta switch up your now free page. I became me, mijo, because before they were trying Remember? to get me a lot. No, and there were some there were some videos that were freaking crazy. Like mijo, you can't be mijo, showing mijo, that mijo, here on mijo. this website, on this app. Around. There's kids that use this app. Around. You can't be showing that. Bro, what's up with the with the show YouTube too? Like they really need to pay media needs to pay attention to shit like that. Like you cannot yeah. be posting things in medias and in, in kids. Kid- ba- ma- ma- Valerie, my six year old, seven year old now. Mija. Stay away from YouTube shorts. Come on, guys. For kids. Let's be where you gotta be. Look, like per se, I don't have anything, nothing wrong with porn. Just don't be, like, it's too much. If you what do, do you it, it's, um, like, sessions, like, um, how can I say? People are making things normal. Oh. Like, it's okay. Like, that's what, bro, and that's what, what are what you it doing is. making a concert? Worshipping the devil. Like, it's not nice. It's, it's art. Not cool. It's art. It's, it's just my a, ass. It's just an expression. Like you can express it various ways. Managers, you know what managers, um, city councils. I don't know. Hey, you, we are not gonna allow this kind of thing here. Yeah. Why yeah. are you guys allowing it? Schools. Why are you guys allowing it? Mm-hmm. It's not normal. Reptilians or I don't know Reptilians. what. Bro, son. Yeah. Demons. Demons. Dark angels. That's the one that, um, how Jordan Peterson said that is once you start you knowing that. You should video. Of that girl, we're like ah, tweaking my ass. Freaking Doja tweaking Cat. Tweaking my ass. Doja Cat was freaking going tweaking crazy over a lighter ass. or something like that. That's a demon. Right? I would have just fucking pour lighter. garlic and, and, and you know, salt, water. salt and gas to the heart and, and, and burn it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Cleansing with some freaking dragon's ash and nightshade and everything. It's a silver bullet. Eggs, ostrich egg. Just in case a silver bullet. Mota, you know. Seedless sunlight, sun, I don't <laughs> alcohol, you know, a Bible, Julio, throw it at her ass. anything, bro. Because bro, that thing, yeah, that it, thing, it's just, that's just the way she's doing. Like, not my ass, you guys are seeing this as normal. Guys, I'm the weird you one. You gotta understand, there's bad shit going on. If the good exists, the bad exists. Don't you care? Has some good songs, but all this shit is like, come on now, come on, you can't be, you can't be defending her saying that this is normal. Because if you saw my ass going freaking all black with my eyes rolled back, I cannot even act it out. blood and shit you with a demon behind me. You gotta become the demon. You gotta become the demon. You gotta, you gotta envision yourself. You're there. That's what she's been doing. Remember, you told me about mushrooms and tell I was like, Mijo, I'm myself. I'm my myself. I'm scared to see my fucking demons. I don't wanna go there. I don't wanna go there. You gotta face your demons like that. Like, why? I, I don't know what I, I can face. Like, 
I'm good. Move on. on. Stare into the abyss and come out victorious. It's still so cool. Yeah. Like like that. Okay. Stretch? Stretch. They tell you how to stretch. They said that you should have somebody... Look, just look at the fucking animals, how they do things, and you learn that. They say that, that you should have someone stretch you, that that's the best way that you're... Because if when you're stretching yourself, your body isn't relaxed. You have all the tension. But if you're loose, and somebody just comes and starts stretching you out like this, your arms, your neck, that is because that's how it's supposed to be done, when your body's fully relaxed. And somebody's doing well, it for I don't you. know, but... Henry Zahudo says that. Okay, he can say that, but the cats don't need nobody to fucking stretch them. And look, he just did it, the cat. Yeah, you get good stretch yeah. like that. And also, Gorda. Gorda. The sun. Yeah. Sure, shit ring everywhere. Lupe. Since the they're sun. telling you, look, motherfucker, look at the sun and stay for a little bit. Get energized. People are too busy. Isn't My it, son is eight hours in a cage. Isn't it crazy how literally everything that you need has been tampered with? So, or like they've been they told you something about it that is actually wrong? Like eating steak, eating red meats. No, red meats are actually good for you. They have so many micronutrients that you The only need. reason it makes us bad is because your red meats that are giving us to us is... It's not that it has high have cholesterol. Have you seen how they kill cows, son? They show me a video. You know how traumatized I was after that shit? That's what I'm saying, bro. We moved to like somewhere more foresty, you know, more chill. I'm thinking. Go hunting, get a fucking elk. I have At least for the three whole cows. Month. I need a goat. I need a goat too. I want you know, two goats. I want two goats. Uh, I want a, a rooster. Okay. You know, I don't. But if that fucker starts going like, eh, 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 in the morning. Wake up and run and smell the coffee. Look, pure coffee with my grandma, mijo. We used to wake up. Sponsor. I need a coffee. Sir. Coffee sponsor, please. Sir, coffee. We love coffee. We can be drinking Speaking coffee. Speaking of coffee, I'm you actually can be right here. out of coffee. You can be right here. Look, it's even blank. Can I go get more coffee? Go ahead. I'm going to go get more coffee. Coffee Speak sponsors. Somewhere. Coffee, don't please. don't let this happen. Look at this. This is happening live on the podcast. And with the prices and economy, bro. Look at look at. For real, for real. No more. Coffee sponsors. Ground coffee. coffee from the mountains. I'm gonna get coffee. Here, take my cup. Wake up in the morning, so fresh, so clean. And my grandma was like, my, it was uh, my sister, my grandpa's sister, white, blonde, tall. European style. That's why I'm so fucking cute, to be honest. You know? And, um, we used to grab the coffee. I don't remember quite well, but, uh, and uh, I probably was like around eight or nine, something like that. We went to Guerrero, Mexico. We walked. It was, it was an adventure, you know? My grandma used to make us do a lot of adventures with her. A lot of adventures, beautiful adventures. She used to take me to the river. She used to turn me to everywhere, man. Jeez, grandma. I love you. And yeah, I know you're always with me. That's why I'm still alive. And right here, cachate. Super fucking strong. and shining. Oh, and the coffee that my grandma we used to wake up in the morning, walk a little bit, she'll grind the coffee, put it in the grinder, and I'll be. Because I was remember, I want, I'm the, the young and the strong one. I was like around five or six. I don't remember. But I, I will grind that coffee, bro, and put it on the. With the hot water, bro, delicious, delicious coffee, pure nature. Right here, I'm pretty sure it's been tempered with. Pretty freaking sure they've been tempered with something for you to be um addicted to. You know what I mean? I don't want to be addicted to things like that. Coca. Why not just enjoy the drink, bro? Mac and cheese now. I used to like, I used to like mac and cheese. Now I can't eat it. And you know what, mijo? And you know why they have our ass? What? You know why they have our ass? Because nobody knows how to grow a tomato, bro. I want to start growing. I'm going to start learning. Because you know what I mean? Yes. Taste this. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my God. Right here, around my block, there is so many that people come on. Look, I had to cut them. Yes, I'm stealing, but birds are fucking it up, and they don't tell them shit, so why not I should get them too? God gave it to us. In reality, these fuckers right here, is, everything is on sale and tampered with. Bill Gates, he should be in jail by now. You know what I mean? All Puff Daddy should be in jail by now. Come on, guys. Biden should be in jail by now or executed. Any. 
All them should be executed by now. That, that's one thing I'm surprised about. How have they not done anything? You're just going to let him still be president? Our president has fucked up. Our president has fucked up so many times. It's embarrassing. Our president has, has so many accidents. He doesn't look strong. He's making this country worse. But he's still the president he's until still, November. He's destroying the best country in the world once. Because how, he was how, are you, how are you rerunning? How are you? How are they allowing to rerun for president? You're in, oh, God, you really want to die now. When the president can't be president, just like the UFC. And how is it that Israel can talk to U.S. like that? It's because... Money, money, money. No, it's because Israel is U.S. Yeah. That's what it is. Those are the real... Something about yeah. military, too. Because it, it was like they can have... Um, like their own military base there for the U.S. And it's closer to wherever they want to go. I forgot the whole thing. Look, when we went to Chicago, remember? And it just, you might think I'm Cap, I'm Cat fucking Williams. But back then, even I told you, we were w going through the city and the people were telling us. The Jews? And the was Jews, Jewish? Most of the Jews owned those fucking buildings. Right. And my mind just went like. Yeah, we were taking a tour guide on a bus. <laughs> when we went to Chicago. And I was like. They gotta be really motherfucking powerful to have that fucking building. I already made the money. It's a couple of bees. A couple of bees. Beautiful buildings, though. Beautiful huh? buildings. The Huge. Best, bro. Yeah. How do they make stuff How like powerful that? Powerful that. And you gotta know, there's no business made with that money that is, he can't be powerful. I'm pretty sure he's a mouth of something. Like, how do they build the pyramids? I feel like they have the They're technology. Mobs, they bro. have the Those technology. Are grandes. Those are the real mobs. Yeah. Mobs. They have mobs of. The uh, Italian mob was Crystal, one of the biggest. Crystal I mean, um, Al Capone. Uh huh. The Italian mob, right there in Chicago. That's where he lived. Al Capone never died. Chuck is shit. He is. He was in Alcatraz now. He was in Alcatraz on the island. Chuck yeah. is shit. They transferred his body to another child. Man. We've been talking about this, right? I think he died. Because Chucky movie, I gotta check it out again. Pretty scary. I still like haven't it. seen a single Chucky movie. Don't. I won't. I honestly oh. won't. Also, very important. Since my kids were little. I never, I used to protect their mental, visual, yeah. emotional mm -hmm. side of my, of my kids. And um, somebody in the family showed him Chucky. He was scared for a little bit. And um, just I think it was you. Know, you. Who? I think it was you. No, you saw the movie that you and I just fucking scare you with telling, telling you Chucky. Because I don't want, I don't want Chucky. One time. I didn't yeah, scare I, Chucky, I remember, I remember that vivid, that vivid memory. I was coming down the hallway. And there's a couch. It's like this. Come in. Watch this. Watch. Check it out. There's a hallway. And on my right side, there's a couch here, TV here, doors here, windows here, turtles thing is here, kitchen thing is here, square. And then kitchen goes in to the sink. It's a big house. And I turned. No, it was the apartment. It was the apartment, the little U one. And when I was like a little, little kid. And I remember walking in and I turn around to see like what you're watching on the TV. And I look at the TV, and it's just, like, some girl in her room, or she's, like, freaking scared. Yeah, well, you probably were, like, one. I don't know, dude. But I w there's lightning in the background in the sky. The house, of the... Are you telling me? That's the first Jasmine's. one? No. You were... It was the one after Jasmine's. It was the one where my tia Marta lived across the, sh across the way, on the other side. Okay. But you saw me watching Chucky. Yeah, but I walked in, and I was just looking at the movie, like, oh, well, what I wonder... What are you doing spying on me? <laughs> you were in the living room. <laughs> And, <laughs> and I see the TV and it looks like a normal movie. I'm like, I wonder what my dad's watching. And then the, like the, there's thunder in the background and the girl's like asleep or something, or she's like looking around. And then in the background, you just see her, like she's like standing and in the background, you just see the door open and Chucky's like this. And he's like coming slowly. And I'm like, fuck, fuck. Like I feel it. I'm stuck. I'm like, that's him. That's Chucky. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And he comes out and he like attacks or something and I fucking book it. I run and I go under the table of the of the cocina. See me hole? That's how I remember it. Well. Anyway, I did also continue fucking. And then one time because, again, I might yeah. No, and then uh At I Spencer's. messed up too on uh Spencer's. Yeah, I remember that. I remember I fucked him up too. So based on that, I was mean, I was kinda evil, I changed a lot, but don't do that to your kids. Don't put in fear on your kids. I know my son is not fearless in, anymore, but um they had to work to that, you know, work stations and things like that. But um, 
protect your kids at all time with watching shit like that, bro. It it seems like a joke, but it's Satanist things. Anything. If you see your kid watching, check their YouTube channel. Check their YouTube channel. Check their Instagram. Check, check their, their Instagram. TikTok. Talk to them, guys. There's a 16 year old. To be honest, get your kid off of kid, TikTok. Yeah, bro. Your, your kid. I mean, bro. Well, maybe it's because for it was us, it was still kind of new in a way. I still had the iPod, you know, it was working Because fine. now I, 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 I have your Rogan, yeah. to Andrew Tay, you know, um, about astrology, about my, my chakra. Yeah. You know, I like vibes. learning energy. Uh -huh. Frequencies, energy, vibrations. My God. Manifestation. All the time about my God, you know, like. Yeah. And a lot of beautiful things that make me now feel. You remember I told you, you know what, son? I don't have any friends. Mm -hmm. But I have the best friends. Because I consider now my best friends my teachers. And I chose who are my teachers. And I follow whoever I think is going to be my teacher. And I have people out there from the media. And that's the powerful thing about the media. Depends how you use it. It's a beautiful machine. Like guns. It's beautiful, mm -hmm. but how are you going to use it? And a lot of people, it's just 90% of the population are being, being brainwashed. That they're not seeing zombie apocalypse. Mm-hmm. They're just like, <laughs> they're going with it. Why? Because I remember I told it's you. It's like the the that one short film, the Happy, with the, all the mice. They're all just doing the same thing. Bro, it's terrible. Yeah. With that, it's a compra esto, it's a compra no. And they're, they're always chasing and you happiness. Me that thing? It's just scary. Always chasing happiness and they never get it. Mm -hmm. And then they get it all, and then they end up right back in the same spot. It's like today's um, woman, woman, you are so beautiful. You don't need extra of nothing. And nowadays, you don't know who she is, he, she, you know? And makeup, bro, a lot of makeup, a lot of makeup. Like, when did this turn out? Seven, eight, nine-year-old girls with makeup already? Yes. Yeah, We've seen it. Sending that message to little mm -hmm. kids that you need makeup to be pretty. Like, the little, little kids. Little, little kids. Like, if you're a grown-up, like, fuck, I guess you do whatever the fuck you See, want. The, but, like, and now these women, they don't Expectation, see, they don't... how you said, huh? Uh-huh, now these women... And I'm telling you, these women... Uh, I'm sorry if it sounds just like one person. Because I'm the, the side of the men, you know? And I'm, you don't see me. You don't see me going extra on my fucking hair, you know? Mm -hmm. I look like fucking cepillin, you know? Extra, extra care. There are some no. guys that do that. Like, you see it on TikTok. It's like they're fucking clean their shit. And it looks like un and, a little unmanly. But and, at the and, same time... you have these women asking for a man. That's not a man. They're, like, cleaning their... Like, it looks unmanly. But at the same time, it's like it's just them taking care of themselves. And doing some of the more feminine things. But and, it's, and, it's and you know what? just Don't natural. You have to do it. Don't get me wrong. It's, I think it's, That's taking it's care nice. of yourself. Uh -huh. And I think it's nice. But some, some people overdo it. And it exaggerates where, like... Okay, well, but that's uh, anything. If you do over, if you overdo anything, uh -huh, you know you're but I'll get to the point, mijo, where I'm telling you, kids are not seeing like they're they're men, mijo. La verdad, la verdad, whatever you say right now of things like that, men don't do shit like that. I mean, men are strong and we work and care. It's to care for a woman, mm -hmm. you know. When you have time, that's what they they start telling you, and that was the bully back in the days, like. Ah, we well, yeah, puto, like, you know? I don't know, because for the same time, it's like I feel my best when I'm looking my best, when I'm doing my best. Yes, yeah, um, but because you're in this era, but exactly, you gotta, if you got to get to work, me different eras, me? different yeah. eras. If you got, and I'm giving you this opportunity, of, you, I don't want you to because you, I see things. Yeah, but when you're a man, we don't look. Look at my hands now, uh -huh. but if I get to work, yeah, I cannot be taking care of this or pretend to be because you gotta be in it. Mm -hmm. But, of course, I want to have my kids clean. Everybody. Mm -hmm. But because not everybody can have it like that because who's going to be a man? Mm -hmm. Well, I, and I feel like that's because we were in that little era that we weren't really doing things as much. And you know, how our, like, working the way that we're supposed to. But I feel like now, afterwards, the way, like, even when we're training or the things that we are going to do this year, you know, actually getting to do things more often. We're using our hands you, the most. You just hit the, the, the perfect thing because... Because, um, yeah, you can destroy your hands at work. Yes, yeah, son. I don't want to no, do that. Like, exactly. But you can use your hands for so many other things. Exactamente. So, at the end of the day, of course, taking care of your hands, we all want to do it. Mm -hmm. But we got to change the era. That's where we got to change. We yeah. got to start listening to the government. We got to start working those jobs that the government gives us. Terrible jobs. With pesticides. Um, Like, I bet you there's a lot of artists... Who draw all day and their fucking hands have markers 
or paint on them. They can't or be charcoal. taking care of them. Since All this shit right here is black because of the freaking pencil. And he's a man. Yeah, they get. Yeah, yeah. He's a, an artist man. Like Michelangelo's but hands. Some fucking... guys are cleaning their hands like for what food? Like okay, yeah. You went in I a restaurant, bro. Yeah, and you acting weird too. You, those sandals, bro, they don't fit. <laughs> you know what's up with the walk too? Like that's what I'm talking about, son. And that's what if the little one sees it, he follows it. <laughs> and that's what I'm telling you. If you want, if we wanted a good doctors, papa, if we wanted good doctors, good. Would uh, carpenters, would um, anything, iron workers, masters, if I was one of them, I'll teach right now the little kids that wants <laughs> to become. Imagine by the age of 18, they're already masters. I wonder what kind With of With the fucking sword like that, like. <sighs> yeah. Bro. But bro, at 18, and you don't want to fucking do nothing because after eight, eight, 18 years, they taught you, listen, listen, don't do this. Don't, don't, don't walk like that. Dude, I remember I we were running on the playground. No running, no running. At school. I'm like, bro, we're playing. Well, walk. Like, if I fall, it's because my cause dumb ass fell. You don't want to swear because now you're old. You lost your childish. Yeah. You're no longer a child. They stole, they stole your soul. You know? School was fun. It used to be playgrounds. Yeah, it used to just be, okay, we're going, we're learning. Cool there's things. There's a playground. Mijo. We're we used to, having fun with the friends. The only reason why we lost to look lunch, lunch, the only reason we used to go to school is because uh, you see your friend, your yeah. friends, and you get to play with them. Yeah. But now, kids are sad, bro. They don't even play with them because they're in the cell phone all day, TikTok. We're part of the system where, and if that's the case, then this changed the system to good system. Like, even yeah. the kids might find it boring. Like, there's no Kim, no, there's no Nicki Minaj no more. <laughs> good. Now learn this. Yeah. I just Become downloaded. You. I just downloaded loaded Duolingo on my phone. I'm gonna try to learn the, the you language. See? The I was listening to a TED talk of the CEO of Duolingo, like the one who direct who made it. He's like, "What takes a lot of our energy away and our attention span as well?" It's no, it's um scrolling on TikTok and social media. He's like, "The impact that social media has made on people's minds, it's so bad. It's so bad." He's like, "But." How about if you were, he's like, you're just scrolling and getting useless information and you're getting it overload to the point where you haven't, can't even comprehend what you just watched. Try to recall the last video you watched on TikTok. It's positive, son. You can't. I can't, but I know that it's positive. Yeah, but you, you know? can't recall it. Mm -mm. So many. You know, yeah, exactly. You're constantly being fed Wait, information. And ass just popped out. I don't know, I don't know why. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, and she was like, oh shit, again, again. Stop it now. You know? Uh, I don't want to remember. Anyways, you were saying, yeah? Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> but I, he's do like, I do recall it though. I love that you... <laughs> <laughs> but the CEO of, of Duolingo was saying that he used the same technology, the the psychology of TikTok and social media. And he implemented it into learning a new language for kids, especially around the world. It's like there's kids in, in South America who can't speak English, but they want to come and get an opportunity over here. Picture this. All these American people, some of them, I'm not these, but the, um, when I say all these, the ones that do it. Uh -huh. Making a Mexican the feel, fits. Mexi Mexican feel, Mex making Me Mexican feel like they're stupid. Bro, we know about two languages. You can barely know one. Mm -hmm. Think about, when I tell you that, think about how much can a kid learn. I was 12. If they, af after English, if they would have taught me Italian, bro, yeah. Is there a time he chat, bro? Me shall. But my family around me because they were stupid. They were like, I just don't play this. Yeah. No, you can't. I just taught, I just show you that I just learned English. I just show you that I became a champion in wrestling. I just show, Limitless. Yeah. Limitless. Why are you guys stopping me? United States is stopping you, me. Yeah, I don't know. Because I they want to keep you as a slave. I was watching this one video, then he was saying, I think he was referring back to what the lady was saying about retiring. The one that's running for president mm -hmm. about retiring at 70. She's like, yeah. And he's like, bro, it's not that millennials don't want to work because they're lazy or whatever the fuck you're trying to say. It's because there's no incentive anymore. They're not going to get those 40 years in that house that you were saying 20 years ago. It's like they don't want to fucking work because it's not worth it. Yeah. You know? So now our base is we're going to work different. We've got to use the system in a good way. We're here to kick These back. This is called kick back. You know, we're kicking back. We're talking and we're chilling. It's part of working, bro. I'd rather be working like this and telling all these little kids and 
bro, you can be anything you want in reality. That that dream is true. Because it says in the Bible, I promise you. You either you work gotta walk really, really way. hard for your own. You got to walk my way. Mm-hmm. You got to walk my way. No, you're walking that way. And we, how many times have we walked that way, mijo? Listening to this, what the fuck is going on? Mm. I'll, I'll rather walk this way. I'm not here for the money. The money will come because God provides. I've seen a lot of people that have money, but they don't have a soul. Yeah. Or sick. Or sick. Or lonely. Or lonely. Yeah. So, me, money is because of this world. But my happiness depends on me and the people around me. You know? And I have learned... Riches in your own way. Yeah, and I have learned that um, I don't need that kind of negativity. If you're not my friend and you're bringing me bullshit... Even it hurts you to tell them the truth. See how much damage you're doing to your vibration. Oranges and coffee don't go together. Uh, you get the little, like, yeah. no, but uh, it's all right. You use, you use more coffee to, like, swoosh it away, you know? <sighs> but see what I mean? So this year, I'm telling you, I have changed a lot, and I told you, too. I'm gonna, it's, it's got to be a 360, mijo, where I go... And I become to the same place, but I'm in a different zone. Yeah. Super in Saiyan? a different zone. You think you're I going know. Super Saiyan? I think I'm going to go past that. I'm a, I'm cheering for God mode. God mode already? I, I got to shoot to the high because oh. it's right there. All these things, my, my mind has been working already, mijo. You were like you were like Gohan when he stopped I went to training. the dark shades of my life, mijo. I saw me doing... Mm. I saw my blessings también con Diosito. Like, I, bro, I cannot be a little... How do you say I'm um, malagradecido? And I know that. I'm grateful. Yeah, I'm grateful, bro. I have you. I have my daughter. I have my. You know how many bro, uh, my friends have lost a lot mm-hmm. because of the root of all evil? Of money. Money? Yeah. Like that. You. Yeah, you bought her this. You bought him that. You bought him this. Money, money, money. Look, I'll buy you a $500 shoes. She's going to love me. You're going to lose him. Why? Because you're not paying attention to what's important. Love, yeah. quality, attention. Necessities of a human. See. Necessities of a human, son. Yeah. A hug, a kiss, bro. Beyond the physical. I can see. Beyond, yeah. Yeah. I care for you. I care for you. Beyond the flesh, the soul. It, it, when, when, you, when you find somebody caring for you, mijo, it's pure love. And if you guys can understand that God cares for you, you have no love. It's funny because... I posted shorts when we were talking about God or something. <sighs> and the comments are like, oh, that's cult activities. Like, what do you mean? You're saying We're saying that God loves us and how he's presented himself. And you're saying that that's cult activities? Like, this is... No, you you got faith wrong. Yeah. They don't know what faith is anymore. Mm-hmm. Remember I told you, like, let's just say you're human. I'm human. We uh-huh. we go to LA. Mm-hmm. And we see uh, in the walk of the fame. Hollywood. Yeah, the Hollywood, the stars. Well, and we will be there, right? Yeah. And then you see some guy preaching, right? What do we do? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Have a good day. Why is somebody stopping, taking the moment of evilness? <laughs> oh, like preaching. Let him preach. Why yeah. is it hurting you? You know, there's some videos of people preaching like that on YouTube that I was watching because I like people like. Not really debating, but just talking about it and seeing what arguments they have. And they're, they're preaching, but some of them go crazy. The ones that do come and scream at their face. You know, like, why are you talking about God? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. like, screaming at their face. Bro, why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? Yeah. People, it's like that. Why are you so angry if I call you out that you do this, this, and this? That's what happened. We need to start calling out people like it is. No, that president, bullshit. that president Biden, is not, I, I didn't have nothing against him at all. But now that I see, bro, you don't love me. Yeah. You want to kill me. Where's the respect here? You're not respecting me. You're not. American citizen to American citizen. What's Where's the respect here? Come on, bro. Fucker. I love, I want to love America regardless. I have always said that I'm from Mexico, but I will protect the place where I'm at because I'm not ungrateful. Yeah. But like this, bro. You're not protecting me. You're, just, you're trying to kill my kids. You're trying to kill my family with all this whole thing going on. I'm so afraid to send my kids to school now because they killed his dream. Big letters at his school that my son, Joan. Mm-hmm. If you like what you do, you will, you will love, I don't know, some bullshit like that. Right? Oh, yeah, you will never work a day in your life. 
and no, you can't be doing that. No, no, like, no, that, hypocrisy. And it's like, well, I don't love doing school. And and it's like, so I'm gonna be working every single day of my life. <laughs> and they make you feel like you're stupid if you don't finish, if you don't graduate, bro. Well, I'm still gonna get fucking sixteen bucks an hour after this. Yeah, I can get straight A's. Go to college. honor roll. You know. Yeah. Abbott, what? I'm you just want me to be, you know? Go to college. I'm and not then... gonna do that. I'm not gonna I'm not I'm and and I don't know what's gonna happen, Mijo, but God is gonna be on my side and my sons can't be doing that. You know? Because I know turtles. that if, if somebody would have cut me when I was twelve for boxing mm-hmm. and train me like they did with Tyson, yeah. I wouldn't be here. If you had a Mike Tyson story. Yeah, everybody origin has a Mike story. Tyson story, Mijo. What do you think your origin story starts like? Kind of like Wolverine, I'm not going to lie. Like Wolverine? Yeah, because I haven't even had a broken bone, nothing. Like, I'm not even, you know, but I'm fucking strong, mijo. Mi, mi, mi cuerpo era bien fuerte. You know? Heal? Yeah, I heal fast, too. You know? If I get a splinter, I swallow the fucking splinter. If you ain't get angry? Yeah, you know? Like, I don't toss know. Come out? Pretty much, yeah, you okay. know? And I got these, uh, you know? Yeah. <sighs> you know? Yeah. And I used to, at some point, <laughs> mijo, when I got divorced, your your soul does die. It's a, it's a um, disillusion. Do not disillusion. Mm-hmm. For your heart, like you thought the love was this. And all of a sudden, it's not that. That's what I'm telling you, kids. They think love is this, hugs. And all of a sudden, mom, okay, shoes, camisas, but I need something else. I need that hug from you. I need you to talk to me. I need you to, Dad, where are you? You know, and the dads, pensamos también, because I did it. Money, money, money. To the point where, yeah, we did to, um, we went to Chicago. Mm-hmm. But I lost so much time during that process just for that trip. And well, look, being my money, if I would have repeat the same thing over a year, it's going to be fake. Why? Because the whole fucking year, you wouldn't even see me. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, we're going to be in Hawaii, like, the best fucking family we're, we're in. Yeah. For one day out of the year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Showing up the, the food that we eat. That's, girl, we almost fall for that, but at least we know that we never did that because we used to even share a plate, son. We actually do want to try it, you know? And like I'm telling you, if God hasn't given me this much money or anything, it's okay because I wasn't ready for that. Imagine mm-hmm. how destroyed would I be. How many famous TikTokers have become famous, make me money, and now they have nothing, not even their soul. Yeah, they really lost everything. I was like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for that kind of money. It's too much. But now? I think I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm ready, mijo, for real, for real. Because I want to make that story of many kids, Tysons, uh-huh. actually work. I will have a place, mijo, a ranch. Up in the hill or whatever nice place where mm-hmm. freshness hits, mm-hmm. I get to lumberjack shit, uh-huh. you know, and I will have camps, okay. uh, kids training, uh, wrestling, you get that rock, MMA, yeah, and, and, and people retire that come and offer their, because I could have offered my, my, my teaching from wrestling, mm-hmm. you know, I haven't even teach you because I never had that time. Yeah. I haven't, now that I, that I see, I can get, I have to get that time to train with Adrian. I gotta become God level to train my son. I see it now. I gotta become it. Visualizing. I see my future now. I gotta change because I had already had. That's the word of the day, people. Visualizing. Visualization. Mm -hmm. So now I know where I'm going. If I'm telling you, I wish to, what's, what's fucking the guys doing with so many billions of dollars? They're not going to be helping the population or the. Or the future generation. Where they make it worse. They make it worse with bullshit like... Ese puñal del pinche... Don't eat Bill pluma. Gates lab-grown meats. El peso Fuck. pluma, like... The motherfucker, what? You guys, people are so stupid making him that full famous for what? Money. Money? That's it. What is he helping out the humanity for? Mr. Beast does more shit than everybody. Mr. Beast's the best. That fool is the best. There's no one else like Mr. Beast. Bro. I want to do something like that too. That's levels. In this country, for the people, to the people, for the people. I don't need too much money. In reality, God has shown me the way. Arriba la menstruación! Arriba la menstruación! Compadre. Arriba la menstruación! 
compadre. ¡Arriba la revolución, compadre! Y se arriba la revolución. Como sea, el chiste que corra sangre, cabrón. <risa> <risa> blood has to be run, you know, blood has to be run. I don't know. Blood shall be shed. Yes, because I see red. <laughs> Imagine my son, Adrian. Uh-huh. Please, guys, if you're seeing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you my guys. If you guys, anybody wants to sponsor my son, I don't have the money or nothing like that, but I, how did it start? This how, year, how, by what? the end of this year, I want to be, I don't know how long it's supposed to take or something, but I know that I can improve a lot. And I want to be a blue belt in jiu-jitsu. We need to get, I need to find the money to do jiu-jitsu. We gotta do it. And if we don't have the money, we gotta start training. Training here. I mean, we went on that. We've been mm -hmm. doing pretty good. We stopped because we're living in this house and then all of a sudden they tell us, well, you guys gotta move. And where are we gonna go, guys? That is okay to live in. Every two apartment, the apartment? Two bedroom apartment. They want me a, a steady job. Who has a steady job now, guys? Yeah. I don't have, I haven't had a steady job for like three years. There's no way you're paying for that with minimum wage. Now, 2,500 bucks. I'm not even making that money no more. Yeah. In order for me to make that kind of money, I gotta have steady job. Nobody ha has steady jobs no more. The companies, they don't like it, something. Those regulations as uh, jobs are as slaves as fuck. Don't talk. Don't speak. Don't, don't, you can't be drinking that. You can't move from here. You can't move. You, you, stay right you there. can't take a break in the restroom. It's gonna, they're gonna, bro. You can't listen to music. You can't check your phone. Sign here. Sign here. Insurance, like, I don't want to go to the doctor no more because apparently it's so expensive. Yeah. Why are you stimulating I'm going to get sick for? Yeah. Because all this shit that they're doing, of course, we're going to go end up to the hospital. Thank God, mijo, that we don't need that kind of Bro, food. Kaiser Permanente tried to charge me $298 for health insurance that I didn't fucking apply for. Yeah. Mm. Suck on this. Yeah. No. My sister, she was like, I, I, I don't know. What happened? My stomach hurts. ¿Qué pa? ¿Qué tienes? You have air. Go take your shit. Go fart. No, I think it's something. Like, mija. Go take your shit. Look, listen, it's just air. Construction. Okay. She went to the doctor, bro. Hospital. Corona Regional. She, she, I found her the next week. So, no, she got better and I was like, so what's up? What happened? Yeah, I had air. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my like, gosh. So you're okay. Yeah, I had air. They gave me some. I sat down and, and I farted. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then I was like, I told you a week later, I don't know how she got the the, um, the charge or the bill. The bill, yeah. $2,800 for air. <laughs> for air. Yeah. And she's like, and you're going to pay that money? Don't pay them. Fuck them. Like, you're not the... Bro, 28... Come on, guys. Yeah. Doctors. If... You vas a la, la niña al doctor that before what? They're gonna give her a muxilin and a biprofen and, and that... Yeah, I want to start looking into, um like, Asian medicine or or Mijo, Eastern medicine. In Mexico, te curan con Because this American planta. shit, bro, is not healthy it's... at all. Not, none of it. Everything is meant to fucking kill you now. Even... Remember, we were in the boxing gym, Adrian's boxing gym, and I said that about drinking water. Big a sign. I'm gonna uh, next time we record that. Big yeah. a sign about the drinking water. They're even telling you, look, we have a fountain water right here. But uh, I'm telling you, don't. If you drink, it's at your own cost. Come yeah, on, yeah. And listen, but you're gonna die. Yeah, it's like you're not. You're not actually getting hydrated by drinking this water or drinking any purified water that they sell you. The the re if you really want to stay hydrated, you need a lot of vitamin C. You need to be eating oranges and fruits and stuff. That contains a lot of water, and that's how you actually stay hydrated. Now, another thing about it's me... It's funny how... It's funny how we've been talking about that a little bit more, and it's popping up now on my... A like, lot, huh? Yeah, people are... More people are talking about it. And like, did we all just have this realization together? Like, what the fuck? Or am I just noticing it now more? I think, son, it, it has to do a lot with... Let's go back to, like, what you think, what you manifest. Yeah. And... All this information, if it's not God, I don't know who it is, but it's been feeding it to you to, for you to be aware of. Yeah. So listen, mijo. Mijo, listen. Don't go there because you know how your dad plays. He, he doesn't play safe. He's a devil. You know that. You know? He's telling you. Yeah. Don't go there. Don't go. What are you doing? Look, go to the nightclub, get a boyfriend, and get your, your heart broken. I want. I'm going to go. 
and then repeat the cycle. Uh -huh. Go to a bar, get drunk, and get a DUI, okay? <gasps> hey, boy. Don't drink and drive people. You know? Don't drink and drive people. Things don't like that, bro. Like don't, that. don't, 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 stop it. Go to work the whole week, and on the weekend, make a party for everyone to, for you, so you can spend your whole money. And do it again. And do it and again, again for and years again, and years again. because the, the baby is now going to be two. You're already saving money for the, the second year. Remember we said the definition of insanity? Exactly my point. Doing the same thing over Doing and over and over Doing the same thing over and over and over. And over. And and expecting a different resolution. And I'm, I'm telling you, how many times have we been tight on this house? On mm -hmm. the payment. But regardless of the money, I feel so comfortable knowing that during those days, I was with you and you were with me. And the kids were us, you know? The day they were killing me back again, and every time they kill me, is when I go back to work. Uh huh. They kill my, I start training, right? I start weighing, lifting weights, I start with my kids, and I need money, I need to fucking go to work. Yeah. They, they keep you stuck, huh? They don't give you the chance to actually do you. And the last time it was San Diego for a whole month. And my soul just went, su puta madre, you shut down? bro. I got skinny. Just alone in the fucking, knowing the fact that my kids are over here. I'm over there in San Diego. And the, the other people, they're like fucking cool. No way, no, that's not hotel. You know, like, bro. And your kids and family, they, they just think about money. Bro, we got, they, they get us a hotel and we smoke weed. And we chill. Mm -hmm. All we have to do is work. Away from home mm -hmm. for a whole week. Let's have a few beers away from the wife. Like, it's a party going on. It's yeah. like, you're not thinking about your family, bro. Yeah. At that phase, you're a zombie. Thinking that you're doing what everybody, that you're doing okay, but in reality, you're doing so much evilness because who's taking care of your kid? Mm -hmm. The government. You don't seem pretty preoccupied. Mm -hmm. You seem like you want to go home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to stay here. Money, 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 like, money. Like, you don't even want to go hug your, your woman. Like, bro. I wasn't like that when I was, if I had to work at work, but it was killing me too, who I'm not coming home and hug your mom and tell her my kids and feel that coldness, you know, because she was pretty cold, you know, <laughs> <laughs> she was. My hands get cold. You know, I'm I'm warm. I'm, I think men are warm, maybe. I get warm, but my hands are always fucking cold. No, you know, mira. No, right now I'm chilling. Yeah. <laughs> so beautiful, me baby. And I'm telling you, um, I think um, Mexico is so beautiful, me. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have a house. Look, even now, I'm not scared, mijo, at all where we live because money. I can I can know how to make money. And mm -hmm. people in Mexico, mijo, they don't let you die. Anybody, every anybody is gonna offer you a taco. You just gotta work for it in yeah. any way. Or you gotta earn it. Earn it. People earn things like nothing. You, There's you people reap, selling chicles, people singing in the... You name it. Be a good person. Mm -hmm. that's just right enough. here, you cannot even sell lotes because there viene la puta ciudad. Mm -hmm. Remember how sad was that when we presented that? Yeah, back then, I used to go Inhuman. up and down the street with my little cart full of chips and candy, getting uh, asking the neighbors if they wanted to buy some. Hey, you guys want some chips and candy? I'm selling them. This and that, this and that. Still, on the weekends, since I'm not working at school on my chips and candy business... He used to make more money than working for the... Uh, my minimum Best wage buy. job. Best yeah. buy. I would come home with 90 bucks a day just from selling chips and candy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even more. If I had two chocolates, that was more. And I'm sorry if the if this was going to happen. All these little restaurants, they're going to be closed. It's gonna. Have you seen the Judgment Day movie? Uh-huh, where everyone just eats McDonald's and that's it? No, Taco Bell. Taco Bell. And all that guys dressed up all fucking fancy. That's just them. Judgment it's Day with, with Sylvester Stallone? The Demolition Man. Demolition Man. Is Demolition Man? I think so. Or Judgment Day. Fuck, those two. Judgment Day is the... is the Oh, no, that's Independence Day. Or... Uh, I think the Demolition the aliens Man, is, maybe. Maybe I'm talking about Demolition Man. I think it is Demolition Man. Mm-hmm. Sylvester Stallone. I didn't watch that movie again. Uh -huh. I forgot about that movie. But... And then that guy comes like, What the fuck is this year is? Yeah, yeah what year he is this? He even makes fun like... What the fuck is going on around here? Like yeah, I, see, yeah. I can't even say I'm a ticket. Yeah. A ticket. Oh, he said, hey, fuck you. The, ticket. Uh-huh. Wayne Snipes? Wesley Snipes? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Wesley? Um, yeah, Wesley Snipes, no? That's his uh -huh. name? The guy from the Blade. Blade. Mm-hmm. And right. uh, I was looking at it, I was like, it makes a lot of sense. 
And see what I mean about men? What? It do this as different era? Yeah. If I come over to this era and I see a man, you're not fucking men. Yeah, yeah. You're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you walking like that? Because that's what he was like that. Different era. Um, Where actually, all, all yeah, I think we're back, so yeah, don't even. Babe, babe. Oh, Kevin Hart's son, remember? He was like, yeah, dad, well, no. And he walked away. Oh, see, see, see. Like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, bro. Let me get my flops. <laughs> I lost that mom, honest. You know what I mean? And um, if you make it look normal, but I think that trust this me, the kids are gonna make make it look normal, but it's not normal. It's, it sounds like the world is getting bad, right? And I feel like a lot of people are going with it. But then again, there's also those people who are going away from it. And they're like, nah, I got to do what's best for me instead of and, what everyone else is doing. And that's what I want. People are no I'm longer not following here, mediocrity. I'm not here for you to follow me if you don't like me or not. I, I just want to get my people the ones that think they're my people. And I'm I'm here for you guys. Mm -hmm. The rest of them, you can hate me, love me, call me mi rey. No. You choose. Yeah. You choose your weapon of dying. For real, because yeah. in me, I'm going to be fine. Now I know I can be fine. I used to care too much of what people, because of this. You cannot talk about gays. You cannot talk about black. And, but everybody's doing it. And yeah. me, in personal thing. But in reality, I don't have nothing against no one. Mm -hmm. I just know that I have things against people that are I'm normal. This is abnormal. Yeah, extremes. Going to school and transgender thing in school. Like, bro, we don't, we don't put religion. Why are we allowing this? I'd rather have religion than this, bro. Yeah. I w I'd rather have somebody talking to my son about God. I like how we started the podcast about respect. And now I think we come back to that same thing, too. It's like about respect. What are you guys doing? What yeah, are you what doing are you guys here? doing? Go do your thing. Go do your thing. Do it Do it right. Right, right. You know? And that's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of they, they start poisoning our kids. They start poisoning everything mentally, especially the mentally. The, 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 the areas that I tell you that I used to take care of more of you guys because... I didn't allow nobody to take care of you guys because I don't fucking scream at you. I yell. Why would I let somebody else babysitter scream at you and yell at you and make you feel stupid about it? Because mm -hmm. I seen babies, I seen, I seen videos where babysitters are really mean, bro. Yeah, bro. I've seen some too. There was one with Crazy the bitch shit. used to put a hot bottle of milk in the cabecita of the baby, bro. What the fuck? On camera and the guy just let her loose. Like, that world wouldn't have come out of my house. I'll eat her. Yeah. I'll cut your fucking throat, I'll, bro. I'll eat your throat. How yeah. do you mess with a baby like that, dude? Mm -hmm. I've seen, we have seen some crazy videos of the babysitters mm. mistreating kids. <laughs> like, yeah. bro, he's just like, when you, a year old. He's laying down and the lady just fucking smacks it in the yeah. face. Yeah, he's falling asleep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, that's an evil entity. That's, that's a, that's you, you don't, you don't mess with the you killed we were right about, you killed him. We're talking about demons. Yeah. Jordan Peterson, he says, he's like, that once you find out that the world's actually more about not ghosts and phantoms and stuff like that, and more about angels and demons, that's when it gets scary. When that's an actual reality. And that's what we're actually facing. This is about demons and angels. Yeah, you know? And that's what I'm saying, son. Look, if anybody's willing to choose whatever, why cannot my son be a boxer? Mm -hmm. At 14. Mm-hmm. Oh, but if he was, but if he was to choose to be a woman, and, and that, your, even your mom will be like, it's okay. He can no. And that's the thing, and and that's the thing um, about this generation is that they're they're seeing that the system isn't really working out for them anymore. So I feel like they're gonna be looking for different opportunities at a younger age. Yeah, that it's like this is gonna benefit me more because whatever there, else is there, there will be the me kids isn't working anymore. There will be like kids like you and I, we choosing differently. Than other kids and we need only those kids that are willing to say you know what this is not for me and those kids are going to be like the really strong ones and those kids now have the opportunity to say you know what this is not me because back then i didn't have the opportunity to say they're creating their own opportunity now i only had the opportunity in high school thank god that i chose wrestling and in, in, in high guidance but i i fall apart from the from that tree that it was just throwing trash in the school tagging mm -hmm. you know not learning, not progressing in school, just looking all gang. I, yeah. I I stood away from that. Yeah, but you could have fallen into it. Uh huh. But I chose not. So I want to get those kids that I choose not to. Yeah. Come on, I'm not forcing no one to come over to my future yeah. um program that I'm gonna have, gym up in the wild. Up in the wild. Yeah. So nobody bothers us. So we can breathe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. So the trainers 
Where do you think can that's, be that's, traced? That's Where do you the, think can be traced? That's the goal right there. That when all this stuff starts paying back, all the work that we put in, is having a big ranch, big area of land where you can actually feel like you were able to breathe. Frijolitos, the coffee tastes pom- different. Las comidas, mijo, las... Where where beer flows like wine. See? Yeah. See how we sink in? Yeah. You know? This 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 right here? This right here? Yeah. This right here? Uh yeah. That this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This. Yeah. Because this right here? Yeah. It's lovely. <laughs> you know, it's a miracle coming through. I love it. Who says that you cannot be working with your son? Who says that you cannot be working with your wife? Who says you can be working with you? With you. You, you should be your best Everybody friend. Everybody says, work on yourself. It's and, just and, a joke when they say no, they it say, because they, they won't say allow go, us. They say, go work on yourself, but end up making themselves even worse. Or they end up hurting themselves. It's like, no. Yeah. Did you not hear what I just fucking said? <laughs> go work like, on this yourself. This is working on me. Like, I'm liberal. I'm No, you're sad. And, and, and human development, that's what it is. You got to understand your emotions. Uh-huh. For real, for real. You got to understand... Like, I could have go, gone wild también. Many times I feel like, oh, I'm going to go out with the two your emotions girls all the time. Control your emotions. Yeah. Imagine who's not... They make me feel like if I like the 20-year-old girl, I'm a perfect bro. Have you seen the models? You you told me that the 20-year-old girl says the good stuff. You're telling me, go rent this movie. There is a 20-year-old on the, on the movie. She's super... She's so hot. Mm-hmm. Media, 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 media. And of course, men are visual. Yeah. Don't don't now don't make me feel like a pervert. And like, men like pretty things. Pretty things is normal, you know. Of course, and me is not a twenty. It's whoever has a beautiful. It's beautiful, you know. Sofia Vergara, mi amor. She's fifty. I don't yeah. care. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm in love at that point. Like, I think we're gonna end it here. That's an hour and twenty nine minutes of the podcast. Thing. Today. Thank, you, see? Thank you guys for watching. And we'll uh, be back soon. We'll be talking. A lot to talk. Sofia Vergara, if you're watching, my dad has something to tell you. You know, come okay. come kick it. He has. It's a, more of a secret type of thing. And he's like, I love you. I love you. She will be mine. I, love, I like it a lot. I, I like, like it a lot. lot. Mm-hmm. Thank you for watching. If you guys happen to enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're listening on our audio listening platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts, come to YouTube. We have a YouTube video version of the podcast over here. We're going to make this a lot better for, it, for us and for you guys too. You know, I have ideas. A lot of ideas. You we, know? Should, we're, we should start mapping it. Yeah. Goals, you know? We, we're going to come up with a studio place because that's what we need. We need a kickback studio again. That needs to come back for this year because we lost it last year, but this is the year we come back. But kickback we haven't lost the vision, vision, vision. We're creating a new kickback. A new and improved version of the kickback. You don't even know. It's coming. It's coming. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Yeah.